Hi, my name is Ron. Uh, I'm a student of Cal University. This video is part of my class, which is our operation management. What I would like to uh, demonstrate uh, in this video is the use of uh, an important uh, tool available in Excel. Uh, it's, this tool is for liner uh, programming, which is uh, Solver. Operation uh, manager must know that the key for a profitable operation is making the best use of available resources. People, material, plant, equipment, and of course money. This video will show how to use Solver to maximize your profit. Let's get started. Well, uh, the first thing you gotta do to start using Solver is go to your tool, make sure that uh, the application is installed. Uh, in my system, I have already installed a Solver, but if you don't have it, just go to Adding, and uh, check Adding, and click OK. That will install Solver in your Excel. Now, uh, we are ready to demonstrate uh, the use of Solver. Here we have a problem definition. GECS per company produces two kind of uh, items, uh, which is a uh, product A, hockey sticks, and product B, a uh, chess sets. As you can see, the yield increment profit for each product is uh, $2 for each uh, hockey sticks and $4 for set of chess. If you look at the uh, processing times, uh, the machine A, B, C. The machine A, for example, takes four hours just to make one hockey stick and uh, six hours to make one set of chess. A machine B, two hours for the product A and six hours for the product B. Machine C, one hour for the product B. If you look at the maximum production, this is the available hours capacity per day. In machine A you have 120, machine B 72, and machine C 10. So the question here is how you can maximize your profit? Means how many hockey sticks you can make a day and how many chess sets you can make? Well, let's go to see a uh, solver. I'm gonna go to my liner programming spreadsheet, which is the same. Here we have uh, the same product A and B, and the uh, profit two and four dollar, as uh, I shown before, and uh, distribution of machine A and B, and uh, the capacity. <clears throat> we have two cells, which is. Uh, what we call the changing cell. This cell is a, a, a B and 4 and C 4. These two cells. These two cells are showing 2 2. That's going to be our changing cell. Um, look at this a profit again $2 product A and $4 product B. And the total profit is $12. Let's use Solver right now to see how we can maximize the profit. Go to Tools and Solver. And uh, we see the Solver parameter here. The Solver parameter, we have to enter this data, which is the formulas actually. If you know how to use uh, Excel, you, uh, you know what I'm talking about. This is the uh, if you go move a little bit the box, you will see uh, a start target cell. Uh, this is a formula. The formula is located in V5. That's going to be target cell. Just uh, type, as you see, dollar $D$5. Dollar the next, oh, here we need to maximize. So make sure that this, this is checked to maximize. The next step is to by changing cells. This is another formula. Just make sure you enter the same formula as you see here. 
and uh, go to the next. The next uh, subject to the constraints are formulas too, a logical formulas, uh, which uh, can be added. Go to add, and uh, you can add uh, as you as you see in a formula. Uh, once you have the uh, formula, <coughs> you just go to option. Option. We see another box which is the solver option here maximum time interaction precision you don't need to change it tolerance phi just keep it like that just make sure that these two boxes are checked uh, zoom liner programming and zoom no negative and then click ok when you click ok you go back to the previous uh, solver parameter and here you're ready to select solve and get the answer let's let's press solve when you go to this option you see uh, the reports the reports are answer sensitive, sensitive limits you can look one at a time or you uh, three of them we select three of them and then we hit ok Remember, before you hit OK, if you go down to your bottom of your Excel, your documents, right now I have my liner programming spreadsheet and my initial problem definition spreadsheet. But uh, if you hit OK, we're going to see those three reports. OK, well, let's go. Now we have the answer report is here. And sensitive report is here, limits report is here, and this is my liner programming spreadsheet under my problem problem definition. Let's go to take a look at the answer report. This is the answer report what we're looking for. If you can see the original value was twelve dollar, how much higher you can go? It's a sixty-four dollar. That's your total profit you can increase by using linear programming. Um, if you go down, scroll down, it's the same formula. If you can analyze any time by pressing pause in the video. The next sensitive report is the next spreadsheet. Is the same explanation of the report. You can see here how much more you can produce or how much, uh, how many more products you can make a day. And you can analyze each report. And you go to limit report, it's the, the limit report, it's almost the same. And here your final value, as I said before, is $64. Imagine you are increasing for from $12 to $64 your profit. That's, that's the answer. So this simple use of solver can help you to improve your productivity if you are a, a good uh, opera op operation management. I hope you like this video and uh, I'll see you next time.